uh, Mr. Espayat. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, by now, I'm sort of like the Mariano Rivera of this committee. A lot of the questions have been asked, but uh, uh, Chief, I, I want to thank you, and, and uh, Sergeant Navarro, I want to thank you for, for uh, coming forward today. Um, I want to ask you, Chief, um, was there any uh, sweep of the capital of the, or the premises around the capital order um, for explosives uh, during the days uh, leading up to January 6th? I asked that question because um, as I came to my office that morning, early in the morning, um, I was walking on the sidewalk by Rayburn with some of the protesters. So obviously there were in the vicinity of the of the capital and around the compounds of perhaps of the of the capital much before the uh actual the insurrection occurred uh, the breaching of the capital occurred so i wanted to know whether you had um an order uh, the sweep of of the office buildings and the capital compound for any potential explosives Yes, sir. So U.S. Capitol Police does daily sweeps of the congressional uh, campus, but specifically on uh, large events that are planned for the day. Uh, we have uh, canine detection dogs as well as additional uh, bomb uh, HDS units, hazardous device section, but those officers go out and conduct sweeps and they do what we call button up the premises uh, when we implement what is uh, restricted uh, to members and staff. But to answer yeah, but, your question, yes, sir. Yeah, but I'm referring, for example, uh, I'm on Rayburn, and as I was coming uh, on, up Rayburn by the Horseshoe area, you, are you familiar with that area? Uh, uh, yes, sir, very a, familiar. Okay, so you know the area, and there is uh, green areas there, uh, and of course it's a drive through horseshoe shape uh, entrance to to that part of Rayburn. Uh, and there is green areas all around uh, Longworth and of course uh, Cannon as well. And people were just uh, part, group, members of this uh, insurrectionist group were walking around there very early in the morning. Uh, was there any sweep whatsoever um, of those areas for any potential explosives. So the the Capitol itself is what was closed off. Of course, we had the inaugural uh, platform that had been closed for a period of time on the west side of the uh, Capitol building and then the east front. But the areas that you're referring to outside of the uh, Longworth and Cannon were actually open uh, to the public. But those sweeps were at the Capitol building. Sorry, I think my system cut off. Yeah, so so no sweeps occurred around uh, Cannon, Longworth, or, or, or Rayburn, where most of the members uh, obviously were before the, uh, the protest, the insurrection came to the Capitol building. Nothing, or nothing occurred also the day before in preparation so for the, uh, for the assault on Congress? Yes, yeah, so U.S. Capitol Police, and that's uh, probably, I just was a little confused as it relates to your question, uh, specifically for the Capitol building and or for the congressional uh, office buildings, House or Senate side. U.S. Capitol Police conducts daily sweeps, not just uh, for this major event, but for the event itself, we closed off a portion of the grounds uh, over at the Capitol. But to answer your question, that is daily uh, that we conduct canine sweeps. Uh, we have specialized um, trained dogs, if you will, that do a uh, sweep of the premises, and that is on a regular basis. So that was done on that day and the prior days. How yeah. extensive was that, given that you were expecting uh, some level of, of, of protests uh, in front of the Capitol and the surrounding areas. How extensive was the, the sweep effort that you conducted? Was it 
as you always do it on a regular basis or did you intensify it? We sweep our grounds, yes, sir, like I said, on a daily basis. So we use a number of uh, deployments of K-9 capabilities, but I think that if we want to go into more granular details, we probably should talk more in a classified setting. Okay. Uh, now, you also uh, obviously coordinate with uh, local law enforcement and the FBI and and other law enforcement agencies. Um, and the RNC offices and the DNC offices are relatively close to the capital area. Uh, in fact, you know, I, I walk to the DNC offices, it's a two block walk from where I am right now. And uh, there's been reports that pipe bombs were found uh, near those offices. Uh, near the RNC and the DNC offices. Was there any um, sweeps for explosives uh, in those areas prior or during January 6th? Sorry. So no, sir, no sweeps were done at the RNC, DNC prior to January 6th, those areas are off our uh, Capitol grounds uh, proper. It's not in uh, line with our primary jurisdiction, if you will. So was there any communications with local law enforcement? And since you conduct suites on a regular basis here, as you uh, testify in Longworth, Cannon and, and Rayburn, was there any conversation with law enforcement about potential uh, uh, sweeps for explosive in those two uh, sites? So no, no, sir. We conduct daily intelligence briefs with our law enforcement partners. Uh, right before the 6th, there was a call with all the law enforcement in the region. But as it relates to them doing uh, sweeps of the extended jurisdiction, there was no conversation uh, specific to that. I mean, this is maybe an extended jurisdiction, but this is just a block away, basically. Uh, so it's within eye view of the capital of our Rayburn and, and Longworth. Um, the reason why I ask this, uh, Chief, is because uh, a potential next attack may not necessarily be uh, the way it occurred on January 6th. Uh, and so I'm concerned that your sweeping operations uh, for explosives may have to be uh, improved uh, and increased dramatically to keep us all safe. Um, I think that it's important that you come back to us at another point with more uh, detailed information about your capability to do this and whether or not, in fact, um, how extensive um, was it done on January 6th or the days before the, the seditious insurrection. I think it's important that we have that information and that you have the capability uh, to do that kind of work. Um, Mr. Chairman, I, I yield back. Thank you, sir. We, yes, we, Go ahead. Go ahead, I'm Chief. Sorry, sir. Yes, we will evaluate that. I know that uh, the task force that's been assigned has already leaned forward in making recommendations in that area. Uh, with that said, while there were no sweeps done of the RNC, DNC prior to the 6th, we have coordinated uh, routine patrols, uh, posting officers, and a marked unit outside of those areas uh, to ensure uh, the safety of the community. But as it relates to K-9 specific, specifically, we will lean forward with those recommendations and look forward to hearing what those assessments uh, suggest and, you know, proceed accordingly. Thank, Thank you, you, Ms. Thank you, Mr. Mr. For, for doing that. So just a couple quick follow-ups, Chief. My understanding was that, that the K-9 units weren't sweeping. Are you are you you clear on that? 
we're not sweeping. Uh, we, were saying, we were leaning in all hands on deck. My understanding uh, was that there were a lot of uh, dogs in the canine unit that weren't um, being used. Is that true? I will follow up on the number of dogs being used, but I can tell you right now that we did conduct uh, sweeps of the campus on January 6th. There's no doubt about that. Okay, but it was like... We, As was to the number of dogs that were used to participate in the sweeps, I'd follow up on the specific number. But as far as the sweep of the campus, those happen daily. Yeah, no, I'm just saying we're, we're, the, the previous answers that you gave were all hands on deck, leaning in, all of that. And if there were not enough sweeps happening, not enough dogs happening, because the pipe bombs, were, were they called in or were they spotted? How, how did you find that information out? The RNC owner notified us but as far, uh, going back to what you said about the sweeps, no, we are very clear on that as far as uh, them sweeping the campus. Okay. Yes, sir. You're, you're, you're saying that, I, I'm just, I just want to be very clear because your, your position has, has been throughout the last two and a half hours, and we thank you for all your time, is that it was all hands on deck. And I remember yesterday, uh, it was Captain Mendoza was saying she was on her way home and had to get called back. So... What does that mean? I mean, that, that to me doesn't seem like all hands on deck if people are. Absolutely. And thank you, Chairman Ryan, for providing us the opportunity to clarify. All hands on deck doesn't mean that they're all here at the same time. All hands on deck means that we were preparing for an operational period that would exceed 24 hours. So we bring in the bulk of the workforce during the heightened periods that we expect demonstrations. But we do understand that our workforce is human. They can't just continually work uh, sure. exceedingly past 24 hours. So there's a contingent of the workforce that comes in to provide relief for those that have been here in excess of 20 hours, sir. I got you. Um, 